But anywho, <laughs> anywho, 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 and so make sure you click that, check that out. Great. Today, she's on my channel and we're gonna be talking about the Glow Up series, okay? All right, so Tiara, you wanna tell them a little bit about yourself? You are a wife and I a mama. I am, I am 27. A lot of people say that, like you even told me that, like I have an old soul. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think kids mature you. Oh. And so I have three children and I am married. Um, and I'm a photographer, a videographer. I do real estate photography. I do all those things. I do makeup. She did my makeup. I today, beat her face. She beat my face. You know what okay. I'm yeah. Uh, so yeah, I do makeup. I do hair. I do. I do it all. Like God yeah. has truly gifted me. And uh, yeah, the founder of Just God Podcast. Mm -hmm. Y'all, yeah. and I will say this, me and her met so randomly. It's so crazy. At church. I went yes. to a small church in yeah. a smaller town or an area yeah, different small, from where yeah. I lived at the time. And she was there. But you guys, guess yes, what? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> she didn't tell me she knew I me. Didn't. She I did it. She did not. She told me today when she was doing my makeup. Like when I first saw you, I already knew you was Morgan Tracy. I'm like, yeah. Cause, okay, so I followed her on YouTube. You know, like she she popped up on my page, and you know, I always try to seek for inspiration. You know, because it's hard doing this thing out here alone. So I saw her and I saw her little uh, get ready with me or something mm -hmm. like that, and I followed her, not ever thinking I would ever meet her ever in person. And, you know, I live in a small town and I tried this new church out, kind of a popular church. And I saw her there and I was looking at my phone like, is that her? <laughs> like, but I was like, OK, we're at church. I'm not going to fangirl. I'm not going to fangirl. Amen. And, and yeah, I, didn't, I didn't. I was like, um, hi, I'm Tiara. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I watch your YouTube videos. That's nice. But you know what is so funny? Tiara, yeah. every time I seen her at church, her makeup would be so good. And I'd be yeah. like, girl, one of these days you're going to do my makeup. You're going to do yeah. my makeup. Mm -hmm. And. Honestly, like two years later, we're two finally, years later. we're finally, we stayed in contact. <laughs> we did. But, you we know, did. we talked about it a lot, but we finally put it, finally did you know, it. And, and it's, it's, it's so good. And also yeah. too, it's so good to connect with women of God that yeah. are doing their own thing and walking yeah. in their own purpose exactly. too. You know, there's room for all of us out here. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that <laughs> actually aligns to what we're talking about today. Yes. Because today we're talking about just some, how to glow up. Yeah. Okay, because the truth is, we know the scripture tells us that we are to let his light shine through us, right? Exactly. We're not we supposed that. to be dimming our lights out here, but right. sometimes we do. We do. We do. We do. Yeah. So today I want to ask you, tell me what the glow up means to you. What does that mean to you? Glow up to me means just being your best self, being the woman that God has called you to be. Proverbs right. 31 woman. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Amen. She she's She's about her business. Ooh. She's a boss, you know? She's healthy. She, you know, handsy. Come She's on. a hard worker. She's Come about on. it. And yes. so I think glowing up is just being your best self, being that Proverbs 31 woman. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And Beautiful I, inside and outside. Oh, there you go. She said Beautiful it, y'all. inside said it. and out. Yeah. Beautiful inside and out. And I think that's so powerful because the world tells us to glow up our outside. Come on. So let's look beautiful. Yeah, let's look the part right. while the inside is rotting. While right. the inside is struggling. Exactly. And so that's why you got to yeah. have an internal glow up. Internal. To truly on, glow up on the outside. Internally. Yes, yeah. yes. So tell me right now, what's one way that you are currently glowing up in your life? Ooh. It's just self-reflecting. Like, mm. just reflecting on, again, like, who God wants me to be. And also resting, you know? Mm. Rest, like, because we, we talked about that on my podcast, mm -hmm. how rest is like very spiritual, spiritual. Best, the the resting spiritual. is like very spiritual and mm -hmm. it's like very beneficial, it you is, know, it is. because when you got so much going on, you, it's hard to focus on yourself. Right. And so um, what I do is just rest and yeah. reflect, and then, you yeah. know, on, on how to glow up. And I also am in a group called Beauty and Bible, and we <laughs> just talk about beauty inside and out. Yeah. And so like, just, lie. you know, yeah. I like to like, play with different outfits yeah you know what i'm saying like i love to oh shop i love come on, come on. i love to shop on a bargain too yes. like come on, girl, you know girl. save them coins mm -hmm. but like just dressing up you know watching youtube videos on like how to do makeup and yes. things like that yeah. i know how to do makeup but i'm just saying like yeah you know just uh do something different do something different with your hair yes. um you know so like, that's how you're currently glowing that's up. how i'm currently glowing yeah. up I'm, I'm like I, like I go, I'm in Goodwill. Goodwill is my favorite. Come I don't on, care. Thirsty. My glowing up season, I'm just like 
uh, expanding my wardrobe. Oh, that's yeah. Nice. That's so that's nice. just something slight. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And I think that really aligns because our glow up series is all about like faith, fashion, fearlessness, yes. right? Yeah. So that aligns with your your fashion, your self care, yeah, my self care. Yeah. Yes. Feeling and confident about myself. Yes. And yeah. also too, I think a part of like for me when I think of like how I'm currently glowing up, I think that I started to become a full-time ministry founder but kind of like a part-time christian mm. because my ministry became everything so it's like i studied for the ministry yeah. so of course i'm getting a devotion and prayer every day yeah but it's all about ministry and, and then be, yeah. my cup was depleted and so that's why i will say that i know now i'm my glow up is really on my faith like exactly. getting back to the basics with my faith walk with mm. god because sometimes you build a ministry and you're doing all these and you're studying the greek and you're, and you're going so deep and it's like your daughter. Just but be my daughter. Just be my daughter. <laughs> and you're going to glow. Just be my daughter. And you're going to glow. And you're going to shine. Yeah. Just be my daughter, right? Okay, so we just talked about how we're currently glowing up. Yeah. Tierra is taking it very physical. She is working yeah. on that beauty, Myself, okay? Confidence. That The confidence, the getting herself together. I'm really focusing on the faith part, mm -hmm. which I'm sure we're all going to take pieces yeah. of it in general. But can you tell me right now in this current season, what area of your life needs the biggest glow up Ooh. in this current season of your life? Ooh. Well, it's okay. So it's for me, it's internal. So like you said, I was like doing like, you know, changing up my wardrobe, just maybe wearing things that I wouldn't normally feel confident in. Mm -hmm. But now it's like inner and I'm like seeking for um, my valid, my validation to vanish. Oh, okay. right. Because like glowing up, you can just not be yourself. You can like be fake and things oh. like that. And and because you want validation, you, you put on a show. Yeah. And so right now, like I'm praying to God about that part of me. That's how you're putting your daughter. That's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, like, yeah, like come on. girl, validation is is real. It's real. But I will say this just to give you a little perspective. Yeah. When you get in your thirties, yeah, for some reason that leaves. It leaves. It leaves. Yeah. I don't know why. When I was like 29, 28. Yeah. I cared about people, what they thought, what did they think, yeah, what, what did they, they think. think? Wow. I used to not wear lashes. I used yeah, to just, like, like, I wish to dress with these just, long skirts. Right, like, I was right. trying to be the perfect Christian. The perfect Christian. And the truth is, if God needed you to be the perfect Christian, Come on. he would have never created you with the personality, the gifts, yes. the vibe, the energy Come that on. you have, right? Exactly. And so um, I will say my, my, my life, my ministry has yeah. flourished the more that I've embraced who he's called me to be. Wow. Even with the random ratchetness yeah. <laughs> you know, like, just, like just the craziness the colors the yeah. fashion you know all that so just just, just some grace there like yeah, it's okay girl yeah. we will be you will get past that like yes. in, in Jesus, Jesus, name. Yeah. In Jesus name and and as you get older too just as a woman like I'm pretty sure you don't want your daughter to be no, like I don't. oh I don't want people yeah. like would you please be you like who who's gonna clap for me yeah like, right. as long as you're clapping for yourself and you're yeah. your number one cheerleader I feel like the light shines different. Yeah. It shines so different. Yeah. It really does. You know what? I feel like I need to be more grounded in this season. Because mm -hmm. I just like do a lot of transition, moving, and all that. But I Ooh, really feel like this season, I need to be more grounded. Mm -hmm. Like just like settled. And not in a bad way. Not like, oh, you're settling for that. But like when you're in an area and you're like, oh, right, this is home. I can this rest. Is, right. You can just I can rest. Be right? compressed. Yes. Yes. So I feel like this season is a season of definitely being settled and like resting in where I'm at. Mm -hmm. But then also... Let's get into the fearlessness. Come on. Let's get into the fearlessness. Come on. Let's get but into also it. also getting the drive, getting the fire, getting the passion back exactly. for the dreams exactly. and the goals that God put in my heart. So yeah. I feel like that's what I'm currently blowing up in this season. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about how you're being fearless Ooh. in this season? Like, how does the glow up and fearlessness come together for you? Hmm. Fearlessness. So it kind of ties in with what I told you about, you know, the validation, mm -hmm. just seeking the approval of men and things yeah. like that. So I'm stepping into this, um, I'm not being fake anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm That's being great. 100% myself, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm not putting on this mask. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying like, you know, you have to um, dilute what, what you, what, how you feel. Yeah, It's yeah. all about like, it's not about so much of what you say, it's how you say it, you know? And so like, I've been like speaking how I feel, you yeah, know? Yeah. Um, and if I'm tired, like, hey, because like I said, my family, um, they do tend to like, pressure on me you oh, know yeah. and hey could you do this could you do that come and on. so me being fearless because I used to just fear that okay if I don't do it come on you know if I don't do this for them they may think of me this way yeah, or yeah so I'm putting like being in my fearless mode it's just me putting myself first 
Mm, you know good. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. God doesn't want me depressed. He doesn't yeah. want me oppressed. He yeah. doesn't want me to, you know, put my, my best self on all the Ooh, time for people. Good. And, you know, and they don't give it back. So, yeah, yeah right now I'm just like, Forget validation from them, you know, because yeah. they, I will never get it truly. Mm. You know, I will never get it truly from them. Mm, so yeah. also God wants us. He looks at the heart. Yeah. Even if you do a good deed and your heart isn't there, mm. it's not as worthless. It it's, it, you won't Come be blessed on. for it. And so I want to when I'm doing something good for someone, I want my heart to be in it as well. Yeah. And when I'm tired and I do it anyway, you know, if God pushes me to do it, then I will. But you shouldn't, your motives should be right, you know? Yeah. I, that's a beautiful glow yes. up. Yeah. Like, that's a glow yes. up that's unorthodox. Yeah. Because somebody's like, oh, I'm trying to get healthy. I'm trying to get my body right. Exactly. Amen. But there are some real life things going like, on that yes. are still hindering that's us. still hindering us. From being the woman we're supposed to be. Exactly. And so exactly. it's good that you have the awareness and the acknowledgement to say, hey, this is something that is holding me back. It's holding me back. That I've got to break out of so I can be the woman God's called me to be. Right. Amen. Amen. Okay, now. Come on. All right, now, Jesus. Okay. So, <laughs> no, nah, she. She went on something a little more unorthodox than obviously I could have even thought of. Yeah. But that also shows you the complexity of our lives, ladies. Yes. We're, we might want to glow up in our, our way. Amen. We all probably Ooh, do. Come on, girl. But <laughs> what if during the glow up, God's like, okay, I want you to lose the 10 pounds, but I also want you to lose 10 pounds of your ego. Oh. I want you to lose come the 15 on. pounds, but I also want you to lose that 15 pounds of insecurity. Come on. I want you to lose those five pounds, but I also want you to lose the five pounds of what your mama said to you. Oh. Okay, I want you to lose the, the that's good Morgan. I want you to lose those pounds, daughter. But you got to understand, there's something that those pounds are actually holding on. Come to. on, you think I'm just trying to help you lose the weight, but I'm trying to help you lose the trauma mm. on the journey. But you know what? Your glow up sometimes is going to require you to lose the weight. Exactly. But it's not just you're looking at it as, oh, he wants me to get out here and run a little bit, walk on this treadmill yeah. a little bit. But really, it's like no, daughter, because what you start to shed is Come actually going to be some things in the spiritual My God. as well. Okay, yes, so see, that's that the key to so a glow good. up. I mean, you ladies think I'm trying to just give y'all fashion, but I'm trying to give y'all some deeper. Okay? Jesus, ain't it? Ain't it? Ain't it? You're trying to <laughs> give them Jesus, catfish you the, into Jesus. Okay? Real man. Come on now, we're trying to give you. We want you to have a physical glow. Up. Obviously, yeah. we want that, but we also know yeah. that there are so much more deeper things that are so hindering much us. more deeper. Only God can reach. It's like so deep. God is like, he's so high. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like we can't go over him. He's so low. We can't go under him. He's so wide. We can't. So he knows everything. He's all around. You ask me again, what am I doing to glow up? Another thing is um, yielding to God about my, going to God about my procrastination. Because that has been something. Yeah. That has been something that I've struggled with. Like. With my weight, with forgiving people. Oh, come on. Sometimes we can proc procrastinate on forgiving people, yeah. forgiving yourself, um, mm -hmm. family, or just anything. So another thing is procrastination, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And and staying focused on yeah. my goal, on where God has like, you know, being that daughter that yeah. God has required me to be, being that Proverbs 31 woman, you know, like even if you're not married right now. God is, you know, you have to focus on yourself. You have to, it starts with you. Ooh, it starts with you. Come on. You know, the glow ups is, is for you. It's it not is. for anyone else. It is. It's for you. Mm. It's for you. Y'all, we, we, we can go around the mountain. We can go around the mountain. Because <laughs> we're, we're talking right now, but like literally, when you start to glow, you give, you empower others to you glow. Come on. When you show up with your face be, I was at church like, ooh, that girl's face is be. I want my yeah. face be. When you show up with Come the outfit on. that you were a little nervous to wear, but you knew See? it pulled out the beauty, See? it empowers the other girls. It saying, empowers. You know what? I want to wear, I've been wanting to wear it a dress, does. but I just felt so I just didn't know like, how yeah. it would look. Yeah. yeah. It, when you shine your light, the light Come that on. God has put in you, you allow others to shine. It radiates. It, yeah. Period. It radiates. And so I think today, ladies, like, we're talking about the glow up and wanting you to glow up. Yes, but we exactly. also want to challenge you to go a little deeper. Go, go deeper. Below the surface. It's okay to tell the Lord you want to lose the 15. Come on. But also say, maybe there's 15 pounds of some of my daddy's words I need to lose. Ooh. You know? Maybe it's 15 pounds of an ex's message to me that I need to lose. Right. Maybe it's 20 pounds of just fear that right, I need to lose. Exactly. Procrastination. Yes. You know? So I do believe that there's levels to this glow up. Right. And actually, I want to ask you this because you are a mom. You're a wife and, and you're also a podcaster, yes. you know, so you do a whole lot. And I want to ask you in this season and, and carrying all that you carry, which yeah. is truly a lot. How do you want to glow up for your family? Oh, that is so good. Um, It's the same. Yeah. Just focusing, mm -hmm. focusing on the goal. I have to show for myself mm -hmm. in order to show for them. 
I have to keep them in mind mm-hmm. when when I do things. You know what I'm yeah. saying? As far yeah. as my, I want to be able to take my kids to the park and not Come just on. watch them. I want to be able to up my health yeah. so that way I can run around and and, and yeah. play with them. Yeah. I don't want the I don't want them to grow up with memories of mom just sitting there and not being active in their life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so just I would say just taking taking myself in consideration that you know. Mm-hmm. I'm still human. I'm not. I'm Come flesh on. and blood. Come on. You know? Yeah, I have to have grace for myself that every day I'm not going to show up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I did the day before. Yeah. And I have to give myself grace that maybe because some day, sometimes we just wake up. We don't feel like talking. We don't feel like doing anything. We don't feel like doing anything. I don't feel like cooking. I don't feel like doing laundry. I don't feel like, you know. Mm-hmm. And so our children sometimes don't understand that. Mm-hmm. And I would say <laughs> when it comes to that, you know, you just even if it's for a brief moment, you know, be show for your kids. But make sure you take a break. Go somewhere in your mm-hmm. quiet place um, and take a breather because oh, yeah. that's very, very much important. No, that's even necessary. Yeah. I mean, I don't have children. I've got a little dog, but like he's rowdy sometimes, too. And I'm like, oh, I need a break. Yeah. I, like, and, and sometimes you're going to need a break. You're going to need a break. Even if it's from your business, your job, your motherhood, your yes. life. Like, there's going to be something where you're like, hey, you know what? I can be Superwoman all day, but truly, my light isn't shining it's the same. It's not shining. It's not shining the same. Yeah. So I need some time for me. Mm-hmm. And if that's 30 minutes, if that's taking your dog to doggy daycare. Yes. Take just anything. <laughs> I know. Like, literally, you got yeah. asking your parent, asking somebody to watch your kids for a couple hours so you could be. Who you were before we the babies came, right? Yeah. Like, like you know, just yeah, be, be your who you self. be your true self. Your true self. Like you gotta, you gotta take that time. And I think that's a central theme we've been talking about, Loki. Mm-hmm. Like the just focusing on the, the focusing goal, on the but goal. then also becoming who you're supposed to who be. Who you're supposed to be. Amen. Before we were in our mother's womb, God knew us. Ooh. He had a plan for us. He had a plan for us to prosper, to be in good health. Right. You know, and He wants us to to walk in that. You know, yeah, so yeah. if you even if you don't know who you are, mm-hmm. you can sometimes find yourself in God, you Ooh. know, Ooh. go to him and ask him, like, Lord, who am I? You yeah. know, yeah. Uh, help me in this area yes. of my life. You yes. know, like he'll, he'll lead you. He'll yes. guide you to who you are and mm-hmm. and just try out different things. See what you like. See what you are inspired by. You know. OK, ladies. Well, this is something I'm going to ask you, but I'm yeah. also going to ask you guys to put it yeah. in the comment section below. OK. Here lately. Have you allowed your light to shine or have you Ooh. dimmed it down? Okay, I'm going to ask you that first. Ooh. Have you, here lately, have you allowed your light to shine or have you been dimming it down? Put it in the comments. Yeah. And answer, recently, <laughs> recently, I have allowed it to shine. But pre, but before that, I have yeah. dimmed it yeah. because of just being scared, Ooh. you know, of rejection. Yeah. Like, it's that validation. Yes. Like, in this season, in this, yeah. in this season, my validation is going to my validation from people is going to vanish, Ooh, and man. it's going to be to God. God validates me. He, he, you know, he loves us. He validates me by just waking me up. Amen. You know, Amen. like Amen. touching me with the finger of life. Ooh. And so I have been just radiating, like mm-hmm. allowing God to use because I can be loud. Come on, you know what I'm saying. I could, um, yeah. You know, I speak my mind a lot Amen. and things like that. So it's just like right now, I'm just like. I'm not saying I don't care about what other people think, yeah. but I'm not really just so much thinking focused of focused on yeah. that. And yeah. so I'm, I'm allowing my light to to yeah. shine. I'm not going to dim it down because Amen. of people, Come you on. know? Yeah. Amen. And you know, it's so crazy because before this sabbatical, if you would have yeah. asked Morgan, are you allowing your light to shine or dim? Yeah. I'd say I'm dimming it down because mm-hmm. truly... When you come from like a small area, sometimes like mm-hmm. I could be so dressed up for work, and then yeah. I'm like, I would bring another outfit just to run to the store, just to run to the because yeah. I didn't want people to because people would like, be living, yeah, they people will. would literally look they at me will. and be like, where do you work? Like, why do you dress like that? You know? Yeah. And I'd be like, I just work for myself. Like, yeah. it just makes you feel awkward. Yeah. Sometimes you don't want the attention, and so um, I know there's been many seasons where I have definitely been dimming down my life, mm. but since the sabbatical, Amen, Amen. Thank amen. you, Lord, for, for rest. Rest. Um, I truly think it revived like a part of me that I think I put to sleep. And sometimes mm. you don't, we don't realize it, but we can let our some gifts and some dreams and some ideas and some words and confirmations um, just be rocked to sleep, you know? Mm. And I think there were some things that with the busyness of life and ministry and goals, yeah. I let some things that I truly desired get rocked to sleep. Wow. And so this sabbatical reawakened that, but then it also allowed a new light to shine through. 
Wow. Hey man, his life. That's amazing. His life. His life. His life. His light, okay. Period. His light. Don't don't think I'm talking about our light over here, okay? Yeah. Don't, don't get it twisted. I know yeah. we we talking about Jesus and stuff, but like, don't think we're talking about we're gonna get ourselves through validation. We're gonna empower mm-hmm. ourselves um, to to be better women. Yeah. No, it's through the power of God. It's through the power of God. Yeah. Like and if you don't, said, and if you don't know Jesus, then I think the truth is, don't feel the pressure that you have to know him the way we're talking about him oh. today. You don't, yes. you don't have to know him like that. Mm-hmm. That is so good. Yeah, you I love that. You don't have to know him like that. You don't that. have to know him like that. But all you got to do is you be are. open. Be open. To know him. Amen. Ooh. Amen. And that that's it. So ladies. So good. Happy shit again. But anywho, <laughs> anywho, anywho. Ladies, well, thank you so much, Tia. Yeah, for coming. Thank you for having me. You guys, I think so, this is going to be the first time of many. Yeah. Oh, come on, Lord. Crazy. Come on, Lord. It just, I it, love it. It flowed so if, good. Yeah this, yeah, this is so good. It flowed so, so good. Yeah. All her information is going to be in the description box, but it's also on your yeah. screen now. So check her out over on Instagram. <laughs> check out her YouTube channel. Check out her podcast. Yeah. It is powerful. And also, ladies, if you are just now joining us and you want to be a part of our Glow Up series, go ahead and click the link in the description box. We have a free guide for you to help you get saved, walk with the Lord, and grow deeper in your faith. All right, ladies. Well, thank you. I'll see you. I'll see you later for more Glow Up content. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's glow up together. Let's glow up. Amen.